following, Coach has talked about all kinds of competition throughout the linebacker room, yourself included, obviously a couple outside spots still open, you know. Mm -hmm. Where's everything at right now in terms of not just where you're at with the year game, but also in that room? Um, we're all still improving, you know. We just always have room to, and to improve, you know. So um, even with the starters, like, we always have little details that we got to fix. So it's really, we just started camp, so we'll get it fixed. A lot has been talked about Cervasi's leadership. What have you seen from him? Um, just leadership. Like, he's a coach that's on the field, honestly. It's like an extra coach that's on the field. If you need something on the field, like, he's going to tell you what you got. Like, so if you ever think that you uh, did something wrong, he's going to keep you up. So he's just leader on the field. This morning, Coach talked about Tyler Wilts and his improvements. He's an FCS guy coming to play Power 5 football. I mean, yeah. What have you seen from him? Um, he's improving. He's uh, trying to get the playbook down. So it's really uh, kind of, uh, I don't want to say hard, but he's, he's improving. He's, he's getting the, uh, the base defense down. So he's, he's improving. He's improving. Is it a complicated playbook? Uh, very, very, because we got a we got a base and we got Delta, so it's two different things that you got you got to know. So it's pretty complicated. What um, you know, what, what would you say your comfort level is with the defense? Um, I I've, I know the playbook very well. I, I've been here for three years, so I I know the ins and outs of the, uh, the playbook. That was really my uh, my main problem when I first got here. I didn't know the playbook and and why I was doing my assignment. Like, not just what I'm doing, but why I'm doing my assignment. So, so was there anything this off season that you wanted to focus on in particular in anticipation of competing um, like you are this, this Really, season? my uh, defensive moves, I, I need to uh, add some more moves to my catalog, not just the, the little ghost move that y'all seen in the uh, spring game. So yeah, just things like that, just more moves that I need to add to my arsenal. Coaches like to train you guys for all three positions. Mm -hmm. where, where are you seeing your most snaps? Um, right now, I'm, I'm learning money right now. Mm -hmm. I'm a star, but I'm trying to learn both sides. So I'm at money right now. I'm learning money. That's the uh, boundary uh, linebacker. Yeah, you can feel comfortable either. either for yes, both. sir. Yes, sir. So even like when we're on the field, so say the ball's on the, uh, the right hash, and we don't, me and Golly don't have enough time to uh, switch spots, we can just go wherever we're at. Like, so if, my, if I'm in the field, I can just stay at star. He can stay at money. How different is playing? Um, at money, you're not in, like, in, in the field as much, not in the, in as much space, so everything's more like bottled down and you're, you're in the run mode, so you just get a lot of more contact than the star position, honestly. Coach, it's more pass coverage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you anticipate staying at one of those positions throughout the year, or will it be kind of... Nah, um, it don't really matter to me, but star, I, I really like star because you got like me uh, in coverage and, and you can come off the edge. But money, but it's, it's like a whole different world over there. I'm not gonna lie. And like money, you can go like middle blitz or off the edge. Like it's anything you can do. So, I, I like both. Coach Bates had talked about after the first practice that with so much depth in the linebacker room, mm -hmm. he anticipates and almost hopes to have like multiple starters at each position, kind of like last year. Yeah. Is that something that? You know, you look to as a positive, or are you trying to secure a starting yeah. spot for yourself? Um, we look to as a positive, honestly, because guys, is, they're going to get tied on the field, so we're going to need subs. So, yeah, we're just, I look at we look at as a, as a uh, positive. Receiver, now you're linebacker. Was it this is something you wanted to do? Was it thrust upon you, or and how do you like it so far? Um, it was definitely a transition because I'm playing on the opposite opposite side of the ball, and now the defensive side of the ball. I mean, coming in because I play more positions in high school, safety, linebacker, corner. So it was just learning the plays, that's, that's all. And, <clears throat> yeah. What do you think you've been doing well so far in camp? Because I know the reason you're talking to us here is because I think Coach Narduzzi has been impressed with you, at least in a couple of practices so far. Oh, definitely the long days, watching extra film, talking to guys like Ross, E. George, Shane, asking them for help because they're always willing to help, you know what I'm saying? And definitely, I was focused on getting stronger and faster because he's down a bunch of linebackers coming in. So I knew I had to be on my horses, you know what I'm saying? And then and I was showing on the field, and I'm going to keep moving on it. So they did. And earning that trust that Coach Bruce and everybody. You focus on one linebacker spot? Or you <clears throat> two, three? I'm learning all three. Uh, I'm learning the star position down pack, uh, the money position down pack now. I'm coming in, I'm going my ways about the mic position. So it's definitely, definitely different at the mic position, I would say, because you know, you got to set the front, do this, do that. And yeah, it's definitely different, I would say. But by the time uh, the season come out, I'll have all three down back.